Good afternoon, Soul Family. Tracy here with Sweet Spot E Magazine. Thank you so very much for the likes, the subscribes, the views, the shares, comments. I appreciate everyone and happy Mother's Day today. Let's ring the bell. Let's clear the energy and let's see what the message that Spirit has for all of us. Someone's having a hard, hard time letting go. Somebody's having a hard time letting go of something or someone or a situation or a thought or a memory. Something about this. They don't want to open up their hands to allow God to bless them with something that they deserve. Bottom of the deck, we have leadership. Someone, they they made a promise to somebody at one time. And it had to do with the things. Something about, you know, something, maybe they were supposed to pass something off to someone else. But they didn't. They kept it for themselves and they felt like that was justified, like they deserved it more. Could have been a photo or something. Could have been something with someone in your family. It could have been But they were supposed to give it, but instead they didn't. Even though someone told them, gave it to somebody else, promised it to somebody else, but this wise guy, they said they deserve it more. They wanted to look at what they wanted to look at. Even though justice was being called, this person, they worked hard to say, no, 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 no. It wasn't like this. It wasn't like that. No, it's not like that. The person was a real snake. What's the message? Something about this person somebody's absence now there's a message someone is looking at this this it's like a picture and they're looking at somebody in the picture that's no longer around that's no longer there like they can't reach out and touch if they wanted to But the thing with that person in that picture that's no longer there is this is the one that's at peace. They're seeing that that person is at peace. Because they're seeing that they, they brought conflict because this is confirmation. They brought conflict because they did not want to change. For them, it was just all about competition it was like I, I want I want I want I deserve I deserve it's mine it's mine it's mine like a spoiled petulant child in this person's eye everything belonged to them and someone else deserved absolutely motherfucking nothing It's still like that today. It's still like this today. This person still places themselves first. This person is still the biggest narcissist that they've always been. And they're too scared to do anything about it.
because they think they got to play some type of game. They think that life is a game. And all it does is really cause conflict. They're finding this out now. They're finding out a lesson about the conflict that they chose to bring to someone else. Something is changing. They thought they had the upper hand. They don't any longer. They thought they had the louder voice. They don't any longer. They thought that their word was the final word. Not any longer. Someone who's truly in their north node has made an announcement, has brought something to someone else's attention. And that person is listening. That person is listening now because that person sees that they had some type of addiction, some type of ego boost, some type of something. But now they're, they're more addicted to the absence of you. Someone is on their spiritual throne. And someone, the person that's on their spiritual throne is the one who's absent and they cannot be touched. This player brought all this conflict, but now all this change is coming. They thought they had the, the game and was gone with it. The game was like, no, baby. The rules have now changed. So now this player is the one who's receiving the conflict, who's receiving the backlash, whose life is changing. And this is the one who's, who's being called out for all their addictions that they have. Whereas they tried to blame it on someone else. They tried to point at someone else, but come to find out they're the ones that have the addictions. Someone is addicted to prescription pills. And they think that as long as they take prescription pills, it's okay. It's not an addiction because they feel it's a prescription. But they're not realizing that they are taking these prescription pills to suffer with all the toxicity that they've allowed themselves to suffer throughout their life because they were too afraid to pull their head out of the sand. They were too afraid to look at life as it truly, truly was. They were truly afraid to take care of themselves and to, to put up boundaries and to say, I'm not putting up with that. No, 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 this is lies. These are all lies. They didn't do that. Instead, they martyred themselves. They allowed themselves to, to make it seem like they were okay with living someone else's life. They were okay with not seeing someone else abuse another person and them act like they don't see shit. Spirit's got a message for this person today. And it's about how they put themselves first, who they felt was most important. Spirit's got a message for them, a clear message for them. There's no denying it. Play silly game, win stupid prizes. And it's something about this person's body is changing too. Something about this person's body, something is going on with them internally that, that 
they have they're afraid to look at. They're afraid to look at and they are afraid to find out what it is. They're afraid to look at it. They're afraid to go to the doctor to find out what it is because they feel like it's something that's going to be taking them to the grave. They feel like whatever this is, it is something that they created wishing ill will on you. This is something that they're being haunted about because of all the drama. All the drama that they did, that they created, that they caused, that they could not wait to hurt you. Someone is looking at, at that now and they're seeing themselves in a true light. To seeing where they were really headed. And it was not in their north node. They see they were in their furthest southern node. They see that they were being evil, vile, vicious. They were being uncaring. They were not being compassionate. They were not being loving. I feel like someone, they're expecting a visitor. But they're not expecting a visitor that they can see in the physical. They're expecting a visitor from someone that's no longer here. And that visitor is about to let them know, look at yourself. Look at yourself. Look at what you have allowed yourself to become. It's like this, they're going to say, you know, this is how you want to appear. Is this how you want the world to see who you are truly? Yes or no? Is this? What you want the world to see and remember of you. Yes or no. Someone needs to ask forgiveness of another. They need to ask someone to forgive them. They need to get down on one fucking knee and ask someone to forgive them. Because this is the person that they expected to martyr themselves time and time and time and time and time and endless motherfucking time again until they got tired, which they would have never gotten tired of abusing someone. Ever. Abusing someone is something that you just don't get tired of doing because you never fat sat there and worked the fucking problem out within yourself. Stupid. They see now that somebody else was innocent. They were innocent. They didn't do anything. They did absolutely, positively, not one thing. But it was somebody, could have been a mother figure, who was it. That was the witch who was doing it. That was the bitch. Someone is looking at themselves on the inside. Because they notice, and it's like this, this first time, they looked at themselves on the inside. And when they first saw themselves on the inside, they actually noticed the change. 
they've gone through on the outside. Someone is conscientious of all the stupid games that they played. You know, all the different ways that they tried to, to get you off your path. Everything that they try to, to make it so that you did not get on your path. But someone knows this is why they don't, they don't want to find out what's going on. They don't want to find out. They feel like they already know. They already know what it is. They feel like they're just going to let it ride. I'm just going to let it ride. I don't want, I'm not even going to say nothing to nobody. I'm just going to let it ride. I'm not even telling nobody. I'm just going to let it ride. Someone has said they, they're just going to go through the fire by themselves. And do nothing. This wise guy sees now is because all they could see before was just themselves. They thought so, so highly of themselves. But now they see that they were truly a shit disturber. Once you see the truth of who you are, it's kind of hard to look at yourself like you, Captain Sabaho or Hercules. It's important. It's important for you to be able to see who you are and what you really represent. It's not up here who you think you are, but the actions that you show outward, that's what's important. Someone is being taught a lesson about the negative energy that they put out. And the return. Someone's thinking about how they just Always wish somebody ill will. How they would say this and say that, and just uh, they wanted someone just to just oh die already. I wish this die already. They wished hardship on someone else, and now hardship is coming back on them. And they have the ability to absolutely do nothing. This person wants to reach out and call, but they can't because they don't even know where you're at. They don't know where you're at. They don't know how to reach you, but they know that right now you, you're living life pretty good. Maybe you do something in the entertainment industry. Maybe you have a YouTube channel. Maybe you're a TikToker. Maybe you're a this or that or whatever, I don't know whatever it is, but this person knows that they cannot touch you. They can't come near you. Nothing. They couldn't reach you if they tried. And trust me, this person has tried to reach out. They tried to see how can they get out? How can they reach out? How can they talk to you? How can they do this? How can they do that? And they see that it's nothing. Absolutely nothing. It's giving sister vibes. Jealous sister vibes. Yeah. 
because they always wanted to appear like they were the better one, like they were more special, like they had it going on, like they were more successful, like, and you just sit there and do nothing. They wanted people to think that you just are a bump on the fucking log and you do nothing. But now it's it, people are seeing this the exact opposite. They're seeing that this person did exactly too damn much. And you do do stuff, but what you do is it, you stay in your motherfucking lane. You're in your purpose. You're doing what God wants you to do. And this person, they're not. They was causing conflict. They was trying to hurt you. They was bad-mouthing you. They was belittling you. They was abusing you. They was mistreating you. It's too much. And they was doing too much. Like I said, somebody's ancestors is coming to talk to this person. You know? Yeah, it's somebody ancestors. Somebody that they not they can't reach out to. They can't, they can't, they they're not gonna get they're not gonna talk bad or talk back to them, that's for sure. I feel like when this person is asleep, someone's ancestors are coming to talk to this malicious, malignant narcissist. Something about Yeah, something about her wanting to shine, but her being a, a fucking snake. There's a big message coming. Everybody's gonna see. Oh, they, the, the, someone's ancestors are coming to let this person know that you know what? They're letting everyone see. This person is a snake. They said, "Oh, you wanted to be in the limelight. We bump." Put you in the limelight. We're going to let everybody see that you're a snake. Someone is receiving a warning. Can't make this shit up. Someone is receiving a warning. And they feel like now they got to they gotta defend themselves. They got to do something to protect themselves. But see... Someone was a witch. And this witch is being taught a valuable lesson. This witch is now feeling like she has to protect herself. She's got to protect herself. But somebody's ancestors are coming to teach somebody a very valuable lesson. And you... The only thing you have to do is do nothing. Remain in your north node. Somebody's getting ready to have their ass handed. On a plate. Bottom of the deck. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah. You in your own lane, doing your own thing. You know, not worried about nobody. And somebody didn't like that. They didn't like how confident and comfortable you were being in your own skin. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah. It's like you used to spend a lot of time by yourself. A lot of time by yourself. You know, it's almost like you had thoughts desires, ideas, whatever. You spend a lot of time by yourself, but you came up with a lot of good ideas. A lot of good ideas that made you a lot of money. So all that, all that time that you was by yourself, it put you on the right track. It was like your intuition was really guiding you. Yes. But there's somebody that you met who's very intuitive. This person, this person, almost like this person talks for a living. 
But it's like what this person says, they're honest, they're on point, they're truthful. And the communication that they're giving out is like what you need to protect yourself. Things that you need to see, pay attention to, so that you're not in uh, uh, making these bad mistakes so that puts you, you know, left out in the cold and sad and everything else and trying to look at everything in a different perspective. But there's something about this relationship, though, is taboo. But it feels good, but it's taboo. What's the message? Queen of Swords. Knight of Swords. And the High Priestess. This Queen of Swords, she spits, she spits real talk. She says it like it is. She gives you the good, the bad, the ugly. Now, whatever. If, if you don't like it, you shouldn't have asked her for her advice. But she's very balanced, too. Very balanced. She sees both sides of every situation. She sees the light and the dark in people. She sees where they come from so she can see their soul. She sees both sides of the situation and she understands. Something about somebody wants they they want to build something, but they want to like provide some type of a relief. Help somebody build something, provide some type of relief. You know, but it's almost like They're not sure how this person would feel or something. Or if this person would even go for it or put their walls up and be like, oh, fuck, no. But yeah, someone wants to make some type of offer. Could have to do with work. You know? Could have to do with, like, counseling, too. What's the message? Something about something was something was stopped. Something was going forward. Somebody maybe somebody maybe you were gonna travel or something. But then that, that changed. That's that's over. That's done. You know, maybe somebody had said they were gonna do something. They made an offer. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do that. But that's that's done. It's not happening. Someone said that they were gonna move forward. They were gonna do this. They're gonna step up to a plate or something. It's not happening. They was it could have been the king of swords. Somebody was just talking out the side of their neck. Yeah, they didn't really mean it. They was just saying something. They was just saying something just to see how somebody was going to react. They're just trying to see if they can get somebody off balance again. See, here's the two of, two of Pentacles and the Temperance. They're trying to see if they can get someone off balance again. So, yeah, somebody's going to come and say, Oh, hey, uh, you know, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. Uh, I'm just going to blah, blah, blah. And I wanted to see, you know. Yeah, and just trying to, s come on now, somebody trying to see if if you, how confused you are, if you sitting around waiting for them, like you trying to be the good time girl, if you, if you waiting on them to be the good time girl, I think that answer is, fuck no, you be your own motherfucking good time girl. How about that one? Go have a good time by yourself. Shit, someone saw that shit. They they saw that shit. 
That was like, been there, done that, dude. I'm happy by myself. Sure the fuck don't need nobody else. So, yeah, this this queen, uh, king of wands thought he was getting ready to stress somebody else out. Thinking that, oh, no, fuck all that. You take that shit, go on. Get to stepping. Get to stepping. Mm -mm. Yep, now somebody want to act like they broken hearted because somebody was like, fuck that. Hell no. Who you think is a fool? Not me. Not me. Somebody was like, uh, no. The fool, they got your address. They don't have my address. Look, go back to your house and look in the mirror if you're looking for a fool. But they don't have my address out here. Hell no. It's like something about a decision. Yeah. Somebody decided they were going to love themselves. Don't nobody need all this bullshit. You know, now somebody kind of like in their feelings because they thought somebody was going to wait for them. They're waiting, like somebody really waiting for their communication or waiting to hear or, or something, you know. Yeah, uh, fuck all that. Done. Goodbye. What else? Thank you. Yep, now somebody, look, because this, now somebody don't want to walk away. See? Now they now they now they all in their feelings. They all in their feelings because whatever they thought was gonna work did not work. Now they all in their feelings. And they don't want to walk away. Somebody must not understand about playing stupid ass games. Yeah. Something about somebody they want to work on on something. You know, now they wanna now they wanna work on now they wanna work on the emotional side of them. Now they wanna work on getting themselves together. Now they wanna work on putting their heart into it. Before, whenever they gave you, they asked to kiss. They was like not involved emotionally at all. Now they wanna work on it. Cause they now they see that you know what, you willing to to walk this this path by yourself. Shit. Yes. You can protect and put up a, what's the word I'm looking for? Protect yourself. I don't know who this is. Knight of Cups and the Lovers. Yeah, see, now I told you. When, now that you didn't told somebody, pff, man, go, go on with that. Go on with that bullshit. Go on with that bullshit. Goodbye. 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 Good night. Good night. Good night. Now somebody want to come and they choose you. Now they want to come with a love offer. But they, before they were sitting here were, were worrying about what you was going to do. You know, seeing if you was going, what you was going to do. Shit. Tell you what. I'm good. <laughs> What's the message, spirit? What's the message? Anything else from this deck? Oh. Yep. See, I'm told I told you. Somebody was trying to play games with you. Then when they found out that those games or those tricks, those sneaky little shit didn't work. Now they want to go to calmer water with you. Now they want to. They now they want to smooth shit out with you. Now they want to say, you know what? I was just playing. I was just playing. I really do owe you an apology because I didn't want to make you worry or anything. And I know that was wrong for me to play these little fucking games. You know, I, I just really, I just wanted to see where your mind was at. You know, but hey, I want you to come over. You know, no, I'm good. I'm good. Somebody's like, no, I'm good. Cause if you play games with me like that, what else you could what else you gonna do? Shit. Some people don't grow up. Some people don't grow up. They some people are teenagers in adult bodies. Ace of Pentacles, 
the Empress, the world, and the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody's like, you know what? I know what I got. I know what I bring to the table. I know who I am. But I'll be damned if I'm going to sit here and let you treat me like I'm some type of work in progress or some type of option or some type of you don't know if this going to work out. Because I don't know if it's going to work out with you. Shit. You know, uh, I think, to be honest, you know, maybe somebody somebody that I know from the past is coming back. Maybe they spinning the block on me. And because maybe this person is sad to see that they didn't choose me in the first place. That they was somewhere else or whatever. Who knows? Shit. Who knows? Yep, yep, yep. Oh, wait. Let's see. Let me out here. Mm-hmm. I don't understand. It seems like it's a relationship. Like somebody was playing games, you know, they they wanted to try and have some some type of power. They wanted to see how how somebody was going to fight for them, how somebody was going to fight for their honor or something like that. That person was like, "If you don't get it, if you don't get bye, goodbye, 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 bye, bye, move, 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 because I don't fight for nobody." Not anybody except for myself. That's it. Bottom of the deck, nine of swords. See, now somebody, now they all confused, concerned, worried and everything because they some bullshit that they didn't try. They was trying to play games. You played it. King of swords trying to play with somebody's heart. You played it. Did you win? Did you win? What'd you win? Because see, they seeing how you acting. You were acting like, uh, I... Gives no shit. It gives no fucks. And that's the truth. So now somebody's like, oh damn, well, maybe, maybe it didn't work like that. Maybe it didn't work. Whatever they was trying, no. It didn't work. Someone is like comfortable in the skin that they're in. Someone is, com yeah. They are comfortable with the skin that they're in. They already know. There's nothing for me to even fear. Because their spidey senses would let them know what's really going on. And they see that this person is just trying to be, was trying to play some trick. Was trying to manipulate some type of situation. But <clears throat> they put an end to that shit. They put an end to that shit. Quick. They, this is what you call... They nip this shit in the bud. This is what you call nipping this shit in the bud. The Ace of Swords, the Death Card, and the Six of Wands. I'm the right one and the wrong one, all in the same one. Hail to the no. Take that shit elsewhere. Goodbye. Now somebody, they, they see they all left out in the cold, and they wanted, they wanted healing. They wanted... This this relationship with this with this earth angel, but you know, they had to go inside and kind of check themselves. And this is justice. This is justice. You how dare you fucking play with anybody's heart? You want somebody to play with your heart? Is that is that what you want? Is that what you want? Because if we want if you want somebody to play with your heart, come the fuck on. I'm the right one, baby. I'm the right one. Because I done learn from the best of 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 the best. Okay. Okay. Done learn from the best. Somebody's like, yeah, da 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 da. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Yeah. Because, see, somebody is already happy. That's what they didn't realize. So that's why they cannot bring. These burdens to them. Because that person will walk away. And give them their ass to kiss. Quick. And then right off into the motherfucking sunset. With spirits. Because this person has already been through this bullshit before.
Someone thinks that they know more than someone else, but they, they're wrong. I feel like there's like a some type of age difference and this person feels like they 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 got more experience than this person. But the King of Cups, you ain't got shit on the Queen of Swords, baby. In fact, if you if you're smart, you go sit your ass down somewhere. Because when the Queen of Swords gets finished with you, you go no. You've been served. Your ass on a flat turf. You can't make this up. You can't make this up. The Knight of Cups, the Ten of Swords, and the Four of Cups. Yep. Because once once that Queen of Swords is which finished with you, you're going to know that your ass was handed to you on a platter. Somebody need to go sit down. They was all in their ego. They really was. All in their ego thinking they was going to control the situation. It's going to make somebody wait. You're going to wait on me. You're going to wait on me. I'm going to have you out in the cold waiting on me until I'm ready to bring some balance to this situation. And then I'm going to come back in and this and that and the other. Fuck that. Fuck that. Uh, no. Somebody was like, uh, fuck you. And get your, get your horse. And fuck the horse that you rode in on. Fuck that one too. What else, bitch? What else? Ooh. Thank you. Seven of Cups. Ooh, now they confused because of all this confused chaos they caused. Now they confused because they caused some chaos. Look. Eight of Wands. Seven of Wands and the Eight of Swords. Now the energy that they return, energy return that they are receiving, is exactly what they re what they deserve. Because you put out game, you get game. You put out bullshit, you get bullshit. You put out lies, you get lies. Somebody don't see this is motherfucking justice. Justice. Somebody's here. Somebody don't realize that somebody's here. They will bring justice to those that deserve it. And there's nothing that they even have to do. All they have to do is just sit there and breathe. That's it. God does the rest. God does the rest. Now they're all confused. I wonder why they was even doing this. Why they even tried this. Why they started this. Why, why, why. Because you was thinking with the whole of your ass. You wasn't thinking with your brain. Yeah. And they, they're looking. They're spying on you. They're not spying on you, but they spying on you. They're looking at you pretty tough. They're trying to see if you if you going in any new directions, what you doing, if what what you're talking about. You know, they, they may even give you a call just to see how you know, they well, they want to test the temperature. Hey, how are you just to see how you feeling? What are you talking about? What's going on with you? One of those things. You know how chickens do. They want to test the temp. They want to test the water. Hey. Instead of them just saying, you know what? You know what? I owe you an apology. I owe you an apology. Because, I, you know, I, I'm, I'm just that confident with myself. And I owe you an apology. I, I was playing some games. and But, you know, but I really wanted to do it with you. And blah, 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 blah. And da, 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 da. They can't come out like that. That would just be like, right. That would just be right. They can't do that. Instead, they feel like they gotta they gotta come up with some type of bullshit that gets them left in the end. Some type of lie, some type of <sighs> shit that gets them fucking left in the end because they didn't know how to be open and honest. They didn't know how to they didn't know how to run their own life. They didn't know how to run their game. They got played at their own motherfucking game. They got 
busted at their own game. They got played at their own game. The rules change with the game is something. Something with their own game. What's the message spirit? Yeah, but this person they see, they're looking at you and they're like, wait a minute. I really fucked up because they're not upset at all. In fact, I don't even feel like they even knew that I was trying to play a game. They feel like they are unbothered. So maybe I played myself trying to play them. Maybe. Maybe. Because you was trying to bring some type of chaos to somebody else's happiness. But it didn't work. And you're going to sit here and look and spy and see, is it working, is it working, is it working? It's not working because you have no power. You have absolutely no power. None. This queen of wands was able to go on like they didn't feel anything. Able to defend self. Able to defend self because you know what? This is something that they do. This is something they work on all the time. They they got this. They've been working on this shit forever. Do you know how many times that person has had to walk away from bullshit? More times than they can count. More times than you can count. More times than you can count. No matter how high you can count, more times than that. Whatever your highest number, more times than that. They don't have a problem parting ways. Continuing on their journey. So somebody, they feeling like, you know, maybe somebody has them off balance and it's, and it's been like this for a while and this and that and the other. Well, you know what? That's your motherfucking problem. That's you. You got to figure that shit out. But you don't push that on nobody else to figure that shit out. You figure the shit out. It's called letting your nut sack drop that's what the shit is called it's called growing the fuck up and stop acting like you some little 15 16 year old like you don't know what the fuck you doing you don't know what the fuck you saying when you know it all the damn time but you creating imbalances in someone else's life and going on like you don't know like it's all good That's what you want to do. That's how you want to do it. You write in your own book of life. You write in your own book of life. You writing in your book that wasn't shit that you ever did amounted to shit. Someone is writing down, didn't shit that I did ever amount to a motherfucking thing. Nothing, 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 nothing. Or you can choose not to be like that. Yeah. Knight of Swords and the Ten of Coins. You can choose to be totally different. You can choose to communicate. That's what you can do. Communicate some real stuff. Not that fake bullshit. But that real shit. Stop acting like a fool. Stop acting like a fool. What's the message, Spirit? What's the message? Yeah, it's like a shock to somebody. Somebody's getting a shock. Because I see something does not work. Somebody is already past that. They are a star. They can see all that. 
they know what time it is. Like I said, somebody they they they've they're past all of that. They've been through all of that shit before. And somebody else is getting the shock of their life that this little shit that they thought that it was gonna play, this little game that they had, they thought this is gonna work. This is gonna work. That didn't work. That shit did not work. All that did was just get you overburdened. Have somebody. Look, this empress ain't even looking at they ass. She's looking away. Like, what? I ain't going with that bullshit. Going with that bullshit. She ain't even looking at the emperor. She like, hey, look. And the emperor is too embarrassed to look at her. She like, man, I'm going with that bullshit. Goodbye. Boy, bye. Boy, bye. Mm -hmm. Oh, well. What else, spirit? Okay. Yeah, now, now, okay. Now he want to sit there and like, oh, my God, I can't believe I've got such a prize. You know, this person is so independent and she gives like she gets. She don't worry about, you know, like this emperor is now looking like, oh, look, she's such a prize. She is such a prize. She's independent. She don't really need me. And she, she does on her own. She will give as well as she can get. So if I'm thinking I'm giving her some shit, she about to give me some shit in return. Yeah. This person feel like a fool. He really does feel like a fool. You know, he he's like this person, they, they felt like they could look down on you for some reason. Like this person felt like they were some type of up here and you're down there. But they see all that that little quick action shit that they did. Uh uh. No. Maybe they was working with some yes people before or people that was trying to build them up. They've been doing that for a long time. But this person said, fuck you. And meant every word of it. No. No. No, this person is an earth angel and she ain't trying to she you ain't you ain't getting her to go with the okie doke. You might do the okie doke, but you ain't getting her to do the okie doke. What else, spirit? I don't know. People I don't know. This is like feels really weird. This is like somebody that's really weird. Yeah, King of Wands. Like somebody that wants to be single or something. Like they want to start over or something. Start over at home or something. But it's like for some reason, you know, King of Wands, if they're in their lower, if they're in their south node, they like to play a lot of games. They like to try and control someone. Control yourself. Control yourself. Don't try and control nobody else because it ain't going to work. Control yourself. The fuck out of here. Yeah. Good luck somebody trying to control me. It's going to be like... I mean, I, I love you all. I love you, love you, love you. But good luck on somebody trying to control me. Mm -mm. But yeah, that's what it was. And then so this person really finally has a... They have a lot of passion for somebody else. So even though they play games, they have a lot of passion for somebody but they would like lost their head for some reason. Like maybe they're used to doing this. They did this a long time, a lot, a lot, a lot. But this time it's different. Somebody put their foot down and said, oh, hell no. I'm good. Take that shit and go the fuck on. You're not treating me like that. No, someone stood up. Yo, I'm gonna say, I'll, I'll leave. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. I know who I am. I know what I bring you to the table. It's almost like, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll drop this. I'll put it to rest. Bye. See ya. And put up some space. Put up some, some blocks. Very, very, very direct in the communication. Very loving of self. 
you know, in their own home, you know, but yep, yep, yep. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Anything else? Boy, uh, I'm going to take all of those. So many. Oh, man. We have the sun, the four coins, the hermit, the empress, the queen of coins. And we got the five of coins, the temperance, and strength. So something is out. Something is out in the open. And it's something that this this hermit, this, this somebody's been trying to keep under wraps for a long time. They haven't wanted to talk about it. They've just been trying to keep it under wraps. But now it's to the point where I feel like they can't they can't hide it anymore. Because it's out. But somebody notices something. They notice something. They see that it's almost like they they see that they're now, you know, it could be some the mother or somebody. It could be a wife and somebody's mother because we got the empress and the queen of coins. But we got the five of coins like they're now out in the cold or they know they something is different. They're no, they're no longer, you know, it's no longer there. It's something is different. They feel the distance. And so it's like this person now needs to, they need to do some healing. They need to have the strength and they need to heal themselves. They need to worry about healing themselves and not anyone else at this point. And that's the truth. That's the truth. Yeah, because this is like, thing. there's so much that this person doesn't know that it was hidden. That it was hidden. That is coming out. It's a lot of information that's coming out. And someone, once they find it out, they are going to have to have healing. This is something that, that's been meant to come out. Judgment Day. Maybe about how somebody, when they're traveling or something else, or they want to travel, they want to move, they want to do this, they want to do that. Somebody, they want to do something different. And somebody's speaking their truth. They're saying it like it is. They're, they're saying this doesn't work for me anymore. I'm done. I'm done. So it's like it's, even though this is some communication that has to be had, someone is, is saying that, you know what? Whoa. This could be someone that's saying, hey, I'm trying to be as gentle as possible with this communication that I need to tell you. But this heartbreak, there's a three party situation and I'm I'm going to that other party. Damn. And that's what the King of Coins is saying. Damn. 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 Well, the Queen of Coins said it to the King of Coins. Somebody said something to somebody. But it's they they like they like they feel like they they're going back to they feel like they're going back to their soulmate though. To be honest, they feel like there's a past life relationship here. They feel like they're going back to their soulmate because they feel like they, they've they been, you know, out of sorts. They've been trapped. They've been not knowing what to do. They've been just sporadic, just all over the place, but feeling trapped. But it's like something within this person allows them to be free. Allows them to be them. Makes them want to run, jump, do this, do that. But they get to be free. Yeah. Someone they need to, um, they need to do some healing. They need to let someone go. They need to let that go. That was the ring. And they need to do some healing. I'm going to grab one or two oracle cards. Grab 
pray. Got somebody. It's like they they <clears throat> they can't let go. They can't let go. They they feel like they wanna they wanna watch, they wanna stalk, they wanna look, they wanna this, they wanna that. You know, almost like they you know, when people's egos get involved and they're like, oh no, so and no is not gonna be do they're not gonna get this over on me. They're not gonna be over, you know, but they don't understand the more they try to make it so that they quote unquote win, the more they lose. They lose their dignity, their self respect, self esteem, self love. They lose their mind. No one needs to let, learn that it's time to let go. They need to let go. They need to work on self. They need to work on being the old self that they used to be. Before they allowed themselves to be beat down. Before they allowed themselves to turn to their most primal energy. They, now, they need to allow themselves to be like stripped away of what and who they are not. Remember who you are and then work to rebuild that person. And after you do that, or before you do that, subscribe.